In the previous lesson, we created a free Microsoft account using Outlook.com. In this lesson, we will create an Office 365 E5 trial account, which will give us a test Office 365 environment or tenant for 30 days. Remember, if you already have access to an Office 365 or Microsoft 365 environment and want to use that, you can skip this lesson and move on to the next one. But if you don't want to mess with uh, your work environment, then continue watching. Okay, let's now see how we can create a trial Microsoft 365 tenant. So to create a new tenant, go to Google search engine or any search engine of your choice and search for Microsoft 365 enterprise plans. The first link that you get here, which says compare Microsoft 365 enterprise plans is the one that we are interested in. Just go in there where it says you can find the right Microsoft 365 Enterprise Plan. In here, you can see under Microsoft 365, you can see here there are three plans here, E3, E5, and F3. It's only E3 plan that gives you the free option to try it for one month. But if you click on Office 365 section, then here you will see there are a few more plans also, E1, E3, and E5. And they all give you a, an option to try it for free, including the Office 365 E5 plan. Now it's really up to you whether you want to use Microsoft 365 E3 option or Office 365 E5 option. As long as they both have SharePoint and Power Apps included in this plan, and you can see there are lots of other apps included in this plan also, we should be fine. So let's try this Office 365 E5 plan and we will create a trial tenant. Now when you click on try for free, it will take you to this page where it asks you for your email address. Now we will provide it the email address that we created in our last lesson. Once you have given the email address, click on next. It gives you a message saying that looks like you need to create a new account for this email address. Obviously we don't have an Office 365 E5 trial account created yet. So just click on set up account to create a new tenant. You need to provide some information here. I generally provide my real first name and last names here. Job title, you can uh, IT developer. Phone number, now this bit is important. We have to provide a real phone number here because Microsoft will send us verification code on that number. You cannot provide a fake telephone number here. So I will type in my mobile number here. Company name, I can provide any company name. Let's call it AK company, AK for Asif Khwaja, which is my name. Company size, you can provide any company size here. Uh, let's give it uh, number 10 to 24. Does your company have a website? You can say yes or no. We will say no for now. Country or region, I'm currently located in Australia. So I will choose Australia, but you can choose any country that you are located in. And then you can choose to select these check boxes or leave them empty. It's uh, totally up to you. These are just to opt in for some information that Microsoft can send you. After this, click on next. Here, as you can see, Microsoft will either send you a text message or give you a call to verify your number that it's a real number and you are a real person creating this account and not a robot or a bot process creating this account. So click on send verification code and it should now send a code on my mobile phone. There it is. I have received the code. I will enter the code here and I will click on verify. Once it's successfully verified, you will now create your first login name for your new tenant. It has suggested my username as Asif Khwaja, which is fine. I can leave it as is. For the domain name, it has suggested AK Company 307. I will change it and make it AK Company 2 and save it. So that has been saved. And now it asks for the password. I will give it my super secret password and click on next. And as you can see, the account has been successfully created. Now the important thing to note here before you click on the sign in button to sign in into your new account is that on this page, as you can see, we have created an Office 365 E5 account, a trial account. 
which will include all of these apps and everything. It also mentions what benefits you will get. But note here the last sentence, which is very critical to note. The trial account that we have created is only free for 30 days. So we have created this environment today on 7th of February. Therefore, this new environment will be free until 7th of March. After 7th of March, Microsoft will charge you for this environment. So it is very important that we use this environment for 30 days. And then if we don't need to keep this environment anymore, we need to disable this environment before 7th of March. So in the next step, when we sign in, it will actually ask us for our credit card information that it will use after 30 days to charge us. So it is very important that once we have done using this environment, Within 30 days, we go and disable our environment. Otherwise, it will charge us. So you can take a note of this date somewhere in your notepad as a reminder to cancel your subscription. OK, once we understand that, let's click on sign in button. Here it tells you what plan we are creating. It's an Office 365 E5 trial account. It's also showing you the price. It's showing me the price in Australian dollars because I'm in Australia. So once we understand that, we need to add a payment method here. And this is where it will ask you for your credit card information. And as I said, don't worry, Microsoft will not use this card for any other purposes. But please make sure that you cancel this subscription afterwards before 7th of March so that Microsoft does not charge you. So let me enter my card number and name on card address. Once you have given your credit card information on this page, click save. So now it has processed your credit card information. And as you can see, it has not charged us anything. It says that you have to pay $0 today. And then click on start trial to activate your trial account for this Office 365 E5 tenant. This may take a while, so we need to be patient here. All right, so it says that our order is confirmed now and it has sent us a confirmation email to our email address that we use to create this trial account. And again, it is important to remember to cancel this subscription before 7th of March. Otherwise, it will charge us on 7th of March. And I will actually show you how to disable this in the Microsoft 365's admin portal to make sure that Microsoft does not charge us for this. OK, so let's click on Next. OK, here Microsoft requires us to set up an additional security like a multi-factor authentication. And for that, it requires us to download and install the Microsoft Authenticator app on our mobile phone. You can click on this link to learn about Microsoft Authenticator app if you have not used it before and how to set it up on your mobile phone. But I already have this app set up on my phone. So we will simply click on Next button to go ahead and set it up. So this is where Microsoft provides you a link to download that Microsoft Authenticator app. You can download it from there, install it on your phone, and then click on the Next button. I already have this app installed on my phone. So once you have set up the Microsoft Authenticator app on your phone, you can open the app, allow notifications, and then click on the Add a Work or School Account. Once you have done that, then you can click on the Next button. On the next screen for the Microsoft Authenticator, it shows you a QR code. You can actually sign in on your Authenticator app using this QR code when you are adding a new account. So it gives you two options, either to sign in or scan QR code. So I will on my phone select the scan QR code option, which will open up my camera. And right now I am scanning this QR code on my phone and it has added my account details to my Authenticator app. Now I will click on next button. Now it asks me to enter the number 78 on my Authenticator app in my phone. So it has given me a window in my phone asking for the number. I will enter number 78 and click yes. And as soon as I do that and it verifies me, you will see that it says the notification has been approved. So that means our Microsoft Authenticator app on our phone has been set up correctly for our Microsoft 365 account. Once that's done, we can click on Next. And now it says that we have successfully set up the Microsoft Authenticator app on our phone. So we can click on Done. We can click on Yes to stay signed in. On this screen again, it reminds you that your paid subscription starts when this uh, trial ends, unless you cancel by this date. 
So it's very important to remember this date. And this is our user login information, which is very important to take note of because this is the account that we will be using to login into our Office 365 trial tenant. So it's a good idea to save this somewhere in your notepad. Let's click on the start using button to go into our environments admin area. And if it tries to sign you in with a different account, we need to make sure that we log in with the correct account that we just created. So let's click on sign in with another account and let's choose the AK company to account that we just created to sign in. And now, as you can see, we are in the Microsoft 365 admin center. So we have successfully created our Microsoft 365 environment. You can take your time to explore this. You can go into the users section and you can see that there is one user that we just created. You can actually go and add more users in your environment if you need to. You can create up to 25 users with your trial license. If you click on show all option here, you can see it gives you all the options to configure different settings of your environment, including access to different admin centers like SharePoint admin center and Exchange admin center. On the top, if you click on this dot menu, it will show you what different apps are available in this environment to you. If you click on more apps, it will show you a full list of all apps that are available to us in this environment. Let's close this one. And under the apps, let's click on all apps. And here you can see that we have different apps available, including OneDrive. We also have Outlook. We have Power Apps. And we also have SharePoint. So SharePoint and Power Apps are the main ones that we are interested in for this course. And these are available in our environment. So if I click on SharePoint, you will see that it will take us to our environment's SharePoint homepage. All right, now let me also show you where you can go in the admin center to disable the subscription of this trial environment. So Microsoft does not charge us for our credit card. Let's switch back into the admin center here. And on the left hand side, if you click on the billing section, and then click on your products. On the your products page, you will see that it shows you that what product we have purchased. It says it's an Office 365 E5 product. Our subscription is currently active and it will renew on the March 7th. You can also see that it is a trial product at the moment. So if you click on the three dots here next to the product name, in there you will see there is an option called edit recurring billing. Just click on there and it shows you that our recurring billing is currently on and it says that our subscription will be bought automatically on March 7th with one license that we have. I would recommend you switch this off and save it because this way your subscription will remain valid until 7th of March and then on 7th March it will automatically expire. So it will not charge you from your credit card it will automatically expire on 7th of March and the environment will remain available until 7th of March for you to use freely. So let's keep it off and save it. We don't want Microsoft to be charging from our credit card. It's warning you here that uh, turning off the recurring billing will cancel this update and your subscription will expire on 7th of March. And we are fine with this. We only need this environment for 30 days after which it can expire. So let's save that. And it says our recurring billing has been turned off. So we are now safe to use this environment without being charged. All right, so this is it. So this way, if you do not have access to an Office 365 environment to learn Power Apps or to learn other Office 365 tools, you can create this trial Office 365 environment with E5 trial accounts and start building your own Power Apps and testing them before you can deploy them into your own production environment. All right, so I will now see you in the next lesson where we will go and dive into creating our timesheet power app.